Let's consider a few more terms uh, that are important to our study of ecology. Uh, three in particular are population, community, and ecosystem. Uh, a population has a number of different definitions, but, but primarily when we're looking at them ecologically, uh, we are looking at a group of organisms of the same species that are interbreeding within a local area. Uh, in my area, a population of juniper trees, a population of furniture choya, a population of ground squirrels, population of prairie dogs. These could all be considered individual populations. Now, in a given area, you'll have a number of different species that live together in that area based on the uh, characteristics, oftentimes climatic characteristics or edaphic, what we call soil characteristics of the area, and they all interact. So a group of populations living in a local area interacting with each other, including the animals and the plants, bacteria, fungi, these form what we call a community. And I want you to be sure of what you're talking about when you're discussing a community. When we talk about a community in ecology, we're talking about a natural community. We're talking about a group of organisms interacting in the wild. Uh, from time to time, some students get confused when they have a question about changes in the community over time and such. Uh, they think we're talking about cities and towns. And those are not natural communities. So don't even think about those relative to some of our questions in this class. Okay, now we've got the living organisms that are interacting, forming the community. Now we have to consider everything else that interacts with that community. Uh, we've got some kind of a substrate or basis like the soil or the rocks that that community is living upon. We have the air around that community. We have the climate of the area. And we also have energy that has to come into the community and provide the energy for survival of the organisms there. Uh, typically, this is done by sunlight impinging upon plants, which we call producers, which are going to take the sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water, and produce food, organic molecules. Uh, that food they will use in order to power their growth and their reproduction, but also other organisms come along and eat those plants, and typically animals that uh, are going to uh, be consumers of the production and use that energy from the plants to carry out their life and reproduction. And then other animals will eat those animals. They would be what we would call a second level consumer uh, predators in order to use the energy from them as food, nutrition, and for building their young. So we have now the organisms of various species interacting, the energy supply and the physical area within which a community exists, and we call that an ecosystem. Very important to an ecosystem is an energy source. And for most of our terrestrial and aquatic ecosystems, sunlight is that energy source.